Travelers exploring the Pantanal and Bonito regions can fly into one of three airports, Bonito, Corumba, or Campo Grande. From there, travelers can be transported to either Bonito or the Pantanal to begin their adventures. The city of Bonito is a starting point for one of the most popular destinations for ecotourism in all of Brazil. It's home of hundreds of waterfalls, crystal lakes, and rivers, more than 80 caves and grottos, walk walls, and a massive diversity of fish and wildlife. And then, there's the Pantanal. Established as a World Heritage Site in 2000, the Pantanal encompasses the world's largest tropical wetland area, including a unique Brazilian ecosystem where iconic fauna are easily observed. The type of tours we do here is a four days tour with canoeing, horse riding, boat riding, jeep safari, night safari by boat, and piranha fishing. Pantanal will be always a great place to be visited. It's a hot spot for wildlife. Yesterday I saw 40 new species of birds in one day. Culturally, it's a very unique area. We get to see a little bit of the cowboy culture, to enjoy some of the music as well, and the particular foods. It's a great mix of the southern Brazilian food with the gaucho type style. The food here is incredible. In Pantanal, you can mix the environment with culture. It's a perfect match for adventure tourism. All the activities are related to water. Scuba diving, snorkeling, tubing, waterfalls, waterfalls and waterfalls, plus bird watching, horse riding, rappel climbing. So you can go from really relaxing to extreme activities. How was it? Spectacular. It's always about the people, the culture and the passion that they have to develop and offer the product is just invaluable. Brazilian culture is so strong, you just step in Brazil, you just feel that vibe, that vibration. So you can listen to music and see people smiling, you just feel the culture. Brazil is a really compelling destination because over the last decade, the Brazilian adventure and ecotourism companies have really banded together and created some really compelling training programs for quality and safety and sustainability. Barely scratch the surface on this huge country. You know, there's so much more to see. This is my first trip and I'm definitely coming back. Maybe even like again this year. <laughs> I'm definitely impressed and going to make it a priority to include this in any tour to Brazil that I sell to my guests. I didn't come in with a lot of expectations, but I've been really blown away. My perspective has changed as a result of this trip. You know, in terms of actually developing itineraries, Brazil seems like a great family destination. It's so far out there in terms of what people have experienced in their lives. Here it's natural. Here it's the real deal.